So let's talk about uh, being here. Um, it's not a friendly. It's, a, it's an upcoming qualifier official match. But also, I think for you, it's a culmination of the good performances and that you've been having. And now you have been selected for this team. What's your reaction? Yeah, firstly, um, greetings to everyone in the room. Um, Obviously, it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to represent your country. I mean, growing up as a footballer, you always want to represent your country. And fortunate for, fortunately for me, um, I've put in some good, consistent performances. And um, the coach uh, selected me. And all I got to do is now take my chance and make the most of it. Um, I would like to bring a little on Kumundi here and I would firstly say it's fortunate enough for me to be here to teach him come true and I would like to thank the God Almighty and one thing I could say hard work beats talent so if you work hard you're definitely going to pay off as much as you have the talents but if you're not working hard I think some things will lack here and there but if talent is going with hard work then I believe that you're going to get somewhere see what we did there for us um, I mean it takes a lot uh, to stay focused when there's a lot of talk going around you, transfers and, and all that. How have you managed to stay focused and eventually get this call up? Um, for me personally, I think it's control what I can control. Obviously, I'm contracted to Stellenbosch. That's where I'm playing. So all I can do is put in good performances week in, week out. I mean, I'm there to do a job. Never mind what's going on around the media. Obviously, it's, it's good to have a club like Chiefs interested in you, but I'm contracted to Stellenbosch and my focus has been there by Stellenbosch and just to put in good performances week in and week out. I'm just looking at, I'm just tempted to ask, to throw forward and look at you guys, uh, the, the brotherhood within the Bafana team. You guys have got a final to play in October somewhere. Um, how, how do you then build your relationship around each other, knowing that you play for Stelis, he plays for Amapagani? How, how, how does it work when you meet in camp? Because there were times when it was just a day after the final and then other players were grumpy at each other, with the other ones that have won. How do you look at that in terms of building your relationship? You came together every day today. Yeah, obviously, uh being with a team is, is different than being with a, with a national team. When you're with a team, you're there with a team, as you're there for your club. But coming to the national team, you're representing the whole country. So obviously you have to, to pull together to, to achieve what the, the country wants to achieve. So it's just trying to adapt when coming to the national team and when playing for, for your, your club. from Sokolov and I think you got your first taste of Champions League football um, recently. How has that in any way helped you going into this camp with Bafana Bafana? Um, I could say that it helped me a lot because I got to experience another level of football. Um, Champions League is not as easy stage or easy level to play at so I think it's something that's going to help me going forward getting the experience learning more about the soccer industry. So I think it's where I also have to push and tell myself that it's just the beginning. Uh, maybe, um, a question, yeah, maybe just uh, telling the uh, same question that was asked earlier to, to Fawaz. Um, I think the past few months uh, for you have been uh, on, the, on the upper trajectory. Maybe just uh, what do you attribute that to? You know, I know you spoke about uh, hard work, but going to a club like Pirates, thinking a club, you know, in the national team, and uh, there's also just um, apparently interest uh, for you um, in and around Europe as well. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, you didn't? No, I oh. didn't know. So, but I could say that my focus is at Pirates. I just recently got myself a contract at Pirates, so I think 
everything I'm doing, I'm doing it for pirates, and they the one are gonna decide what gonna happen in the near future. But for me, my focus is at pirates. One last question, yeah, chance we need yeah. to have training. Yeah, so I was just looking at uh, the Stellenbosch team um, and how you guys um, have, have really risen. Um, we were with Jaden at the AFCON in Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, we saw Ikram coming in earlier uh, against um, Algeria and making his mark. And we've seen the big moves um, that they've made now. Um, you are in the second final now. What can you just say about uh, how this project has just blossomed into what it is now? And um, your teammates are making these big moves, and and we are seeing the results of that. You guys are making this Mafara for our national team as well. Um, I think one thing that that stands out for us as a Stellenbosch Football Club is that we 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 play for each other. We we won. We know what we want to achieve. Everybody puts in the hard yards. There's, there's no big egos in the team. Everybody is grounded. We know what we want to achieve, and it's just the, the, the team spirit that we have in the team to always help one another and always uh, see each other grow. All right.